we decided to start Kickstarter is is mainly because you're opening yourself up to a larger audience than what is sort of what is used to seeing you, you know, because with us here in Los Angeles, we know we have the eyes of the animation community. Um, but I, you know, there's so much more people out there that could like our stuff. And so we thought Kickstarter is a good venue to get ourselves recognized by people that normally wouldn't find, know about us. And um, a, a couple of years ago, we were going to actually launch a Kickstarter for Krampus as a Christmas special, but um, we decided not to do it because uh, a lot of different reasons, but mainly because we ran out of time to do it. Like we were gonna launch it before Christmas in order to capitalize on the Christmas holiday. But um, a bunch of our friends that had done Kickstarter, they said, don't do it. It's too late. Wait a little bit to do it. So we decided to wait. And then as we were waiting, we got Elf. And so we had to put Krampus aside uh, in order to do Elf. And then um, in the meantime, somebody from Kickstarter emailed us and he, he was really like, he's like, hey, this is George from, from Kickstarter. Like, what happened to Krampus? Like, why, why, what's going on? And we got back to him and we kind of told him like we wanted to hold off on it for a little bit and stuff. And we were doing Elf and he's like, oh, that's cool. And then he came over to LA because he's in New York and he visited us and we became friends and stuff. And um, after Elf, we were going to launch Krampus as a Kickstarter, but then uh, we decided to do something smaller to see, to test it. And so we decided to do The Witch Doctor instead um, as a short film to see how the success was for that. And um, we worked with that, with Kickstarter. They, they sort of gave us some tips and stuff like that. They're great. They're really they're really easy going to work with and they're very dedicated to every project that's on Kickstarter. Um, and uh, we kind of felt like it was a success. Um, it's really, really, really hard. You have to plan to do a Kickstarter at least two months in advance. You know, you have to, you have to budget your, your project. You have to figure out your rewards and you also have to figure out like, how those rewards are going to be easy enough to deliver and produce because of the Kickstarter budget that we brought, I think we got like 68,000 or something like that. 20% of that budget is going to go right back to the, the contributors, you know, to honor the rewards of the tiki mugs and the swizzle sticks and the shrunken head kits and all that other nonsense. So I want it. Um, so the money that we, we got from Kickstarter really isn't enough to, to make a film. Um, but it's enough to get us started and it's enough to s keep a small group of us together. Um, and we're like Seamus and Chris and I don't pay ourselves out of that money. We kind of use that money to buy supplies and we use that money to pay a couple people to come in every once in a while to sort of help us out. Um, so it's like, if you're going to do Kickstarter, don't expect to use that money to pay yourself, just use the money to for the project and that's it but it's like once you like you have to prepare yourself you have to like figure out all your social media skills like get like every week prepared you have to schedule out your weeks like okay i'm going to do an update every other day and i'm going to have pictures and i'm going to like what can i do that makes it special and who do i reach out to and you can't just like go on facebook and post like oh is this day 56 or whatever like you have to keep on like finding new avenues of how to publicize yourself to people who don't know who you are. And it's just like, okay. And the way we did it with, with, with Witch Doctor was was like, okay, we'll reach out to our Facebook friends and then the animation community. And that's that's easy. But then we had to start an Instagram account. I had no idea how Instagram started, you know, and Twitter. I, I mean, I'm too busy to deal with that kind of stuff, but I do it anyway. And then it's just like that. And then reaching out to magazines and seeing if anyone's interested in doing that. And then also going into other other groups, social media groups that might be interested, like the Los Angeles group or the New York animation, or like I'm Spanish. So I like reached out to my Spanish family to like spread the word and, you know, trying to get everyone to, to like tell one other person about us and stuff. And then luckily like Kickstarter worked with us as well. And they, they, they sort of helped publicize 
our project as as a part of these other projects that were like pick of the you know Kickstarter uh, pick or whatever it calls you know and so that's how it worked and stuff and it was like it's really really hard work so anybody that wants to do Kickstarter really be prepared to spend the next thirty days once you launch on it every day for a really long time every day and have yourself planned out and be realistic with your budget because um, if you think that you're going to make $100,000 for making a short film, you're wrong. There's no way it's going to happen. 